Hello everyone. Hey, this is Pastor Daniel. Just coming to you. Um, this is the PDJ. Bringing the PDJ. If you don't know what PG, PDJ stands for, uh, that's hashtag PDJ. We've been um, using that quite a bit. It's prayer, devotion, and journaling. So I am glad to, to join you guys through for your day today. Uh, this is the time that I want to come live to you with a, a devotion, a time to to um, talk to you about God's Word. I know it's a busy season, uh, you know, this time of year, all the holidays, everything's going on. Uh, believe me, it's, it's, it's packed, it's, it's exciting, a lot of things going on. But I, I just want to come to you today uh, live, as always. My wife said the other day, why are you telling me you're live when they know that you're live? I don't know, because, you know, maybe just in case you forget that I'm live. So, and as you can tell, that I, I have no problem speaking about whatever. Uh, I just, I just want to be very transparent and very real. So, um, I, I just, uh, I want to come to you today with the PDJ Prayer Devotion Journaling. You can check us out on the website. This will be on the website. We're going to post on social media. So, if you do miss it, uh, hey, you, you can always catch it. But I want to talk to you today um, from Jeremiah. It's something that's been within my heart. Uh, the last several weeks and a um, few months, actually, just I, I want to see God's power in, in, in His people. I want to see God's power in the church. I want to see, uh, and that, that I'm, I'm talking to me as well in my life. I want to see uh, the power um, you know, of God in our lives. Uh, I want to see the miracles. I want to see the prophecies. I want to see the teachings. I want the fivefold ministry. I, I, I want, I want um, that manifestation of God. And, and, and lifestyles have been really uh, on my heart with the lifestyle, uh, our lifestyle. And I, and I want to come to you today with the scripture um, from Jeremiah. And it's chapter 7, and it's verse 8. I'm going to start in verse 8, chapter 7, uh, and verse 8. So uh, I, I want to read you know, this to you. It says, Behold, you trust in deceptive words to no avail. Will you steal, murder, commit adultery, swear falsely, make offerings to Baal, and go after other gods that you have not known, and then come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, and say, We are delivered, only to go on doing all these abominations. Has this house, which is called by my name, become a den of robbers in your eyes? Uh, I love this scripture. I love what uh, Jeremiah is actually saying. Is uh, <clears throat> And it's tough because no one likes uh, it, to, to really take a look at themselves and line up their, their lifestyle with what we're claiming. And I say that as this. You know, there's so many times that we claim Jesus, we claim Jesus, but our lifestyle doesn't line up to that. Uh, it, it's, it's Jesus plus our lifestyle is what we think, but that equals uh, no Jesus and, and because it equals us. But if we take Jesus plus his lifestyle, it equals blessed life, it equals Jesus. Because truly, that, that's what we have to to live by. We, we have the signs in the yard that the reason for the season is Jesus, that we claim Jesus, hey, hallelujah, Jesus, but then our lifestyle is not lined up. But then we wonder why uh, that things are, are, are you know, happening in our lives. We wonder why we're not blessed. We wonder why that, that things are just tough or, or man, I don't understand why God's not hearing my prayers. I don't understand this. I don't know why God's this. I don't know why God's that, but we're claiming Jesus. I claim Jesus. I claim Jesus. But how about your lifestyle? How about, how about your lifestyle lines up within, um, what you're proclaiming? And that's what Jesus is saying. Hey, look, you know what, Israel, Hey, all you guys, all you rabbis, all, all you master teachers and, and all you people, of Israel going in and out. I'm just telling you, you're claiming me, you're proclaiming me, you yell at me, hey, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, you want to praise me, but then you walk out something else. Our lifestyle has to praise Jesus along with our lips. We have to walk along with God. And and I, I, and that's encouraging. And it's tough because no one like, oh, and I don't like that, Pastor. I don't like, you know, you're, you're, you're just grinding in me. You're, you're, you're hurting me right now. Well, I mean, I'd much rather you hurt, you be hurt, but walk out a blessed life. I'd much rather God's power 
be in, in, in the midst of your life. You know, if we want God's power and His manifestation, then you know what? We need to walk out a lifestyle that portrays Him. That means whenever uh, we claim Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, that our lifestyle lines up with that. That's what, you know, I've been taught over the years with a lot of uh, rabbis that, um, that lifestyle is more important than what we proclaim, especially to the um, Orthodox Jews. Is you know they they want to see our lifestyle. They want to see our lifestyle it, before you ever talk about this Jesus to them, um, which they don't believe Jesus is the Messiah. They believe Jesus is just a master teacher. But you know they've been told by many of them that uh, let me see your lifestyle. You claim this Messiah. You claim this this Savior. But then you know what? You're beating your wife. You're treating your husband wrong. You you're 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 out of order. You just do whatever you want. Your lifestyle doesn't even claim Jesus. So I, I'm going to challenge you this year. You know we all put that sign in, like I just said a little while ago. We put that sign in the front yard that Jesus is the reason for the season, but is our lifestyle lining up that Jesus is really in my heart. Jesus is really uh, what I believe because my lifestyle lines up with what I'm proclaiming. And that's all I'm challenging you is because I want the best for you. I want God's power working through you. I, I want you to be blessed. I want you to be a lender and not a borrower. I want you to be healed. I want you to be prosperous. I want everything that, that you do prospers. I want you meditating in his word day and night. I just want the best for each and every one of us. And uh, that means uh, that whenever I proclaim Jesus, that I am going to live a lifestyle that, that shows uh, Jesus. That means I'm going to treat people right. At this time of year, it can be challenging, especially if you're out there driving. you got to go to the mall. Uh, you know what? Hey, I love Jesus. Jesus is everything. But then, you know what? Uh, you kind of lose that Jesus, that lifestyle on the way to the mall because uh, someone's cutting you off traffic. The line's really long. You know, uh, finances. You know, hey, you know what? You're getting in debt for Christmas, which, you know, why get in debt for Christmas when you already married the one you love? She should love you no matter what. He should love you no matter what. That isn't, that's no excuse not to get anything. I know some of you are like, oh, hallelujah. I don't have to get nothing for my wife or my husband. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. You know, but what I'm saying is, you know, our actions, we proclaim Jesus. Now let's let our lifestyle, uh, proclaim Jesus. That way we don't have to say Jesus out of our mouth. Our lifestyle shows that. We, we're helping the poor. We're helping the weak. We're, we're, we're helping each other. Uh, we're leading, uh, uh, living a life that leads others to Jesus Christ. And we're, we're driving to the mall that, that our lifestyle shows Jesus Christ. We're, we're doing our home repairs that shows Jesus Christ. We're celebrating Christmas that shows Jesus Christ. And, and just everything that shows Jesus Christ. That, that's that's, that's the devotion of the day. Um, that's the PDJ of the day, Jeremiah 7, verse 8. And God was saying, hey, look, I, I see you guys proclaim me, but then your lifestyle just, you go out and live however you want. And, and that's not what I want. When you claim Jesus, he wants your lifestyle to line up with Jesus. So I'm just challenging you to make sure that your lifestyle lines up with Jesus and you're going to experience a power, an anointing, a presence, a glory uh, that, that you've never, ever experienced before. So just do your checks and balances. Check your lifestyle. You might be, hey, man, everything's good. I'm all good. Uh, lifestyle's great. That's great. Just keep it up. Keep doing it. And let's walk out this lifestyle together um, that portrays Jesus Christ. Amen. So that being said, I just want to uh, pray real quick and um, pray blessings upon everyone and, and that we really receive this word. So don't forget we have Hanukkah tonight, the very first day of Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah to all those. We do celebrate Hanukkah here. So we'll have a teaching tonight on Hanukkah. We'll be lighting the candle, day one candle. And we also have a sheet. And I, I, what I'll do is I'll make this sheet available on our blog. I'll put this sheet on our blog. So if you want to celebrate Hanukkah, you just not, you're not sure how or what the reason for Hanukkah is, well, I'll have this sheet on the website, on the blog. Um, I'll get it posted today, this afternoon, so you can celebrate tonight at your house, Hanukkah. And maybe you don't have a Hanukkah, that's fine. You know what? Take nine candles, stick them on a plate. Uh, you know, you can, you can make a Hanukkah. Uh, it, it's about the heart, and it, it, it's about just having that heart for God and doing it for God. That, that's what it's about. So make sure that, you know what, you, you get the Hanukkah uh, sheet and make sure you celebrate Hanukkah as a family. Uh, it's very important. So let's pray. I know you guys are at work or at lunch, so I want to, uh, you know, get you back to work and lunch, but let's pray, pray real quick. Lord, we just thank you, Father God, for what you're doing in our lives. We thank you, Father God, for your word. And Lord, we proclaim you as Jesus. You are our Lord and Savior, our Messiah. Uh, you're, you're, you're the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and we thank you. And Father God, we want a lifestyle that, that, that uh, portrays you, that, that displays you 
you, that reflects you. We, we want a lifestyle that lines up with what we're proclaiming. So, Father God, give us the strength and the boldness to stand when we need to stand, to stand on your word and, and be that example of Jesus, your, your son. And, Father God, we thank you for, for giving your son that, that we celebrate this time of year, the birth of Christ. We thank you for, for giving your son for a debt that we owed that, that you paid through your son. We thank you and give us the strength once again and the boldness to be able to stand and have a lifestyle that portrays Jesus. We give you the glory and the honor in Jesus' mighty name. And everyone says, amen, amen. Love you guys. You guys are awesome. Uh, I'll let you get back to work, get back to lunch or whatever you're in the midst of. And this will be posted on the website. But we will see you next Tuesday for PDJ. That's prayer, devotion, and journaling. Love you guys. And you have a great day. We'll see you at Hanukkah tonight at 7 p.m. Love you.